Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Thursday, June the 28th, and this is the market overview. Looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, TNA, UUP, FXE, GLD, SLV, and all of the rest. Well, today was absolutely crazy. Um, market just closed. I am still in shock. <laughs> so, um, the big day came. Obamacare was uh, upheld against all uh, expectations, against all reason, and uh, which in itself is, in my opinion, a negative thing. Um, market didn't like it either, was down. And by the end of the day, we had a uh, miracle rally, which, uh, which I'll get into that as well really stunk because I got uh, I got caught by the by the miracle rally and uh, up until then everything was going great but um, anyways away we go haven't had a video the last two nights um, on Tuesday my internet was uh, knocked out and on uh, Wednesday I didn't really think it would matter because uh, only the news would matter today and uh, that was actually right, but uh, here we are with the Dow, down a measly 24 points and change, uh, ending with a hammer after we made a, uh, a new recent low today. Um, so you could say, perhaps, that this is the bottom of a, um, this could be a pivot low, possible reversal candle. Uh, at the same time, you'd look at it and say, okay, well, it wasn't able to conquer the last uh, uh, two days and make a new high, so yeah, kind of messy. Uh, breaking below the lower price consensus level for the third time, um, which is bearish. Uh, closing below the long-term moving average bar, which is also not the best sign. But we have the 14-day uh, RSI moving average moving on up. We have the uh, stochastics uh, attempting to turn. We have down on the CCI, down on the RSI, down on the histogram, and sideways on the MACD. This was very, very different just uh, just a little while ago. So just incredible. Um, what more can you say about that, right? 60-minute time frame. Get to examine the... Uh, bloodbath which was today um, let's see if I can blow it up a little bit more without changing no it's that'll change it so at least I can blow it up this way had our initial move down it was awesome um, went down further looked uh, extremely bad for the market. Looked like it was going to make a new recent low, but we had the miracle rally last uh, hour especially, and I just completely was amazing. So with this amazing move, are we overheated? The heat map says no. Going up on the CCI, up on the stochastics, up on the 14-day RSI moving average, up on the RSI, up on the histogram, and up on the MACD. So um, essentially just uh, stopping stone cold, the down move, and uh, reversing it uh, into its own strength. It actually doesn't look bad in the 60-minute uh, time frame, um, except that we have a slightly new lower low today at... Uh, at its very lowest today, at its most promising uh, moment for the bears, and um, so from weakness into strength, incredible. Daily still is questionable, but uh, certainly it just throws uh, lots of things out of uh, kilter. I would have expected it to go down to the 200-day moving average first before turning around. But uh, it's not to be. Not today, anyway. SPX, more of the same. Mm. Very promising at its lowest point today. 
get in back to the uh, bottom of the uh, real candle at the previous low and um, we have nothing in the heat map now down on the CCI mixed on the stochastic up on the 14 d RSI moving average slightly down on the MACD histogram and sideways on the MACD totally throwing everything for a loop I should delete that line don't need it anymore and moving on it's not going to be any real difference than the Dow but uh, just uh, incredible absolutely incredible on nothing um, maybe I should have waited a little while just a little teed off that I got burned <laughs> but we all get burned so uh, as long as it's not too bad of a burn and uh, up on the uh, CCI, up on the stochastics, up on the 14-day RSI moving average, up on the RSI, up on the histogram, and up on the MACD. Whoo! Question will be, how far can it go tomorrow? Uh, it's going to completely depend on the news that uh, I'm assuming is going to come out overnight. Maybe it won't. But uh, if we can break this uh, this previous high, this previous high, it's going to be very very bullish and uh, if there is good news I would expect those to be uh, just uh, ripped to pieces maybe even gapped above tomorrow if there's any meat to this move but um, we just don't know yet we shall see moving on to the VIX yeah we're still in a pot potential bottoming area according to the heat map which is a good sign for the bears. Um, they had extended all the way into uh, 21 today. Very, very nice. And by the end of the, the day, not even holding on to the very, very, very important $20 level. Beyond that, 14-day RSI moving average, moving on down still. CCI up, stochastics mixed. These had been uh, both up, so uh, having the fast turn is uh, not a great sign. Up on the RSI, up on the histogram, and slightly up on the MACD. How about this one? This one sometimes can give us a tell. And uh, daily certainly is not giving us a tell at the moment. You can see the uh, miracle rally at work here. Losing uh, the 21s, the 20s, going back to the 19s. And uh, we can see that everything is headed down with the exception of the 14-day RSI moving average. Brutal. Closing this gap, maybe that's important. We won't know until tomorrow. Uh, it had been fighting with uh, attempting to uh, pierce the previous high. was unsuccessful. And there really isn't too much to say. TNA, very interesting. As uh, this one is green, TNA uh, should lead. I mean, it's a little bit lower than uh, yesterday, but uh, uh, very good action for it today. Down on the CCI, up on the 14D RSI moving average, mixed on the stochastic, down on the RSI, slightly up on the histogram, and up on the MACD. Um, not a great looking daily chart, not a bad looking daily chart, it's just uh, inconclusive. That's a good description. And the 60 minute time frame. This one was no stranger to the uh, mystery miraculous rally. And now we have everything turning up just like the Dow, just like SPX really good looking uh, 60 minute chart it will all depend on if it does its breakout tomorrow or not amazing uh, we need something that will actually tell us something USO not USO UUP <laughs> alright well this one was having a great day, ending with a uh, spinning top. New recent high. 
That is encouraging. That is bullish. We have the uh, CCI still moving up. Stochastics now mixed. Down on the RSI, up on the histogram, up on the MACD. Overall, definitely more bullish than bearish, which is good for the bears. But um, certainly looking totally different by the close. And how about this one? Since we know that everything looks pretty darn bullish in the 60 minute time frame, does the dollar have any difference? Well, is it overheated or need to heat up? Well, no real difference. Everything is moving down with the exception of the 14 day RSI moving average. Um, Yeah, there's there's nothing really to get into here, unfortunately. FXE, the Euro. Not very impressive, if you ask me. Matter of fact, I think it's uh, still in uh, pretty good danger of uh, reaching the uh, previous floor and uh, breaking down, but uh, still a bit early. Very small hammer. We have a little bit of indication of a bottoming area in the heat map, down on the CCI, down on the stochastics, up on the RSI, up on the 14 day RSI moving average, down on the histogram, down on the MACD. This does not look uh, does not look good in the daily time frame. Sixty minute time frame everything is ticking on up and we do have that extended large possible bottoming area it is getting a little bit of a pop I don't think that this pop is proportional to the uh, movement in the indexes but it is what it is XOI oil not a bad day ending with a uh, fat body hammer not yet getting to the long term moving average bar uh, having it green does agree with the, the miracle rally and everything is ticking up no warning sign, no warning area in the uh, heat map and since this one is so correlated with the overall indexes might as well take a look here have a tiny little blip of a uh, high area in the heat map. Nothing uh, really to get excited about. Miracle Rally took this one up, broke the uh, highs from yesterday. Difference than uh, everything else. We have negative divergence in the MACD histogram. MACD histogram ticking up, MACD ticking up, RSI ticking up, 14 day RSI moving average ticking up, stochastics turning around, CCI moving up. So yes, this one actually uh, could be a little bit of a tell that uh, that there's going to be more upside to this. And CompQ, the NASDAQ, should lead. Definitely worse than most things. Making a new recent low today, taking us right back into the bottom of these real candles. Nowhere close to the uh, long-term moving average bar. No indication of a uh, bottoming or topping area in the heat map. Down on the CCI, down on the RSI, mixed on the stochastic, up on the 14-day RSI moving average, down on the MACD histogram, down on the MACD. Definitely more bearish than bullish. Sixty-minute time frame. Any difference here? Not really. Everything is moving up except the 14 day RSI moving average, which is going sideways. You can see the miracle rally. You can see the uh, new recent low. This actually looks pretty uh, bearish to me in that we don't know how much energy was expended for the miracle rally. We definitely have a series of uh, lower highs. We definitely have a series of lower lows. So to have this turn and go back down, 
uh, will be uh, very, very bad. But you never know. And going on to Apple. Yeah, this one didn't benefit as much from the Miracle Rally. Uh, we have a new recent low made today, ending with a spinning top. I don't like spinning tops. We have the middle Bollinger Band doing its cross. Not a great sign. We have everything ticking down too, which is uh, different than uh, most everything, uh, including the 14-day RSI moving average. Uh, we don't have an indication in the heat map as to a bottom or a top. Um, I'm not sure why this one is being so weak in comparison to uh, many of the other things. I suppose it could be attributed to the new Google competitor to the uh, iPad, but that's just uh, conjecture. And here we can see the uh, Miracle Rally, and it uh, it just was not as strong. Uh, we do have a bottoming area in the heat map. We have uh, everything turning up in the 60 minute, with the exception of the uh, MACD. So it's not uh, the end of the world, but uh, certainly you would think that it would be stronger. Um, hmm. Curious. GE trying to get a better read on the Dow. This one had done better last night. Um, of course, there was no video to highlight that. And did uh, pretty darn good again today, making a new recent high, which is uh, bullish. Good sign for the overall market. And essentially up on everything except for sideways on the RSI and down on the CCI. Not a not a bad looking chart in the uh, daily time frame, not at all. Sixty minute time frame. Yep, it had the uh, miracle rally as well. A little bit of a green blip in the uh, heat map. Nothing really to uh, write home about. Up on the stochastics, up on the 14-day RSI moving average, up on the CCI, up on the RSI, up on the histogram, up on the MACD. We do have negative divergence. We have quite a bit of negative divergence, actually. Hmm. And GLD. Wow. This one got beat over the head with an ugly stick at its lowest today. You can see that we have a possible uh, connector here. Making uh, three touches today. Very interesting. Um, at one point, I wanted to short GG today. Would have been a great move if I had done it. But, uh, yeah, you know. Fat body hammer here at possible bottom. Down on everything. Down on everything. So the question will be if it can take out today's low. Should be going down for a retest of the uh, current floor. Which isn't... Uh, that far away from where it is now. So even if it breaks out of uh, today's low, really can't tell anything until it takes out the floor. SLV, now this one is interesting. Made a new low today in uh, quite a bit of time. And also with a fat body hammer everything ticking down the exception of the uh, slow stochastic going sideways but uh, overall this looks uh, this looks terrible where it's going to stop boy because it's anyone's guess if I go back to the weekly maybe I can uh, Holy moly. Didn't have a really good level until like the $17 area. 
I don't think it's going to go there. Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, moving on, XLF, the financials. Not a bad day, getting back inside the uh, long-term moving average bar. And um, up on the 14-day RSI moving average, mixed in the stochastics, down on the CCI, down on the RSI, down on the histogram, and up on the MACD. Very mixed chart in the uh, daily um, Mm, very much chart on the daily. I guess that's all there is to it. Just out of curiosity, yeah, there's the miracle rally. Totally changing the chart. Everything moving up in the 60-minute time period. Uh, JP Morgan. This one actually had news today that its loss could be up to nine billion dollars instead of the two that it was thought of before. Um, then they came out and said, oh, that's, it's only going to be half that. It's only going to be like four and a half billion dollars. And it rallied. Uh, we had a downtick last night. There's no video to uh, show that. It was met intraday. Up on the 14-day RSI moving average, mixed on the stochastic, down on the CCI, down on the RSI, down on the histogram, and up on the MACD. This one was so news-driven today. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, it had its gap down. There was the news about uh, extra losses got uh, beat up. And then we had the Miracle Rally. 60 minute time frame, everything is moving up. Not a bad looking 60 minute chart, except for we don't know how much energy has been expended here. But in complete honesty, it does uh, have some more room to go on pretty much everything. And yeah, let's do something else. Starbucks. I haven't looked at this one in a long, long time. Consumer stock. And uh, wow, it had a huge decline after its double top thing here. And now we're getting to a, uh, if you give it some leniency, a triple or a quad bottom, pierced it, if you were to draw it across here. And uh, if you didn't, then it was just coming essentially to the uh, bottom of the real candle here. Yeah, if this one breaks this low, it's going to be uh, really ugly. 14 day RSI moving average ticking down, stochastics mix down on the CCI, down on the RSI, down on the histogram, down on the MACD looking for a bearish cross. Ooh, I kind of like this one. This one looks really bad. And it's close to uh, a real problem. Very interesting. Matter of fact, just for fun, I have a little bit of a morbid sense of humor tonight. <laughs> Uh, miracle rally, yep, giving it that tail. Uh, this doesn't look as strong in the 60 minute, which is kind of interesting. It does have a bottoming area in the heat map, but uh, 14 day RSI moving average is still ticking down, and the uh, slow stochastic is uh, really taking its time getting out from the uh, low area. We are not nearly as close for a cross, a bullish cross on the MACD. This one looks uh, quite a bit weaker in the 60 minute time frame than a lot of the other things. Very interesting. And... Oh, just for fun. Stock that uh, I like to watch. And... Uh, this one had a crazy move that was not part of the Miracle Rally today. Um, I just thought it was interesting. We've had this extended bottoming area. It's been out of control to the downside. Um, and look at that. Everything is starting to uh, tick on up today. Although the 14 day RSI moving average is already pretty darn high. Um, they had some news about possibly spinning off or selling some assets. This is one of the uh, largest insurancers. Insurancers, is that a word? <laughs> 
insurance firms being uh, GE's former insurance arm massively undervalued and uh, just something I find interesting it had this giant pop on its news, its rumor then the miracle rally took it the rest of the way gigantic move today uh, 60 minute time frame looks like it's getting pretty darn overheated but uh, that's what news does I suppose um, I guess that's going to be about it for tonight. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video for entertainment and educational and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you very much.